What is up everybody? Video Addict here and I am messing around in the living room. Got a complete and total disaster mess going on. Uh, as you see here, I have a number of knives and I'm working on this little thing. Now, when I was at Blade Show, I saw these Pelican knife cases that were super awesome. They had the foam all nicely cut and all that. And it was, uh, I want to say it was like $250, $259 for a case this size. Okay. They had a bigger one that was like $359. It was ridiculous. So what I have here is it's a case that I bought a long ways back. It was actually $29, $29.97 or something like that at Sam's Club. Now, I've tried to look them up to see if I could link it in this. They are no longer selling them. They're out of stock. Uh, and Amazon is selling them for like $69. Uh, I think they're great cases. You can make your own decision if you want to spend $69, but that's Amazon jacking up the price on something that's out of stock somewhere else. I find it very shady, uh, very crappy, but these things, I mean, it's a heavy duty case and it's got four latches, two in the front. I wish that these latches were a little stiffer where they'd stay out because it's a pain in the butt whenever you go to try and close it and you, can, you gotta kind of try and hold all four latches up at the same time, which is hard to do. But that's really a minute problem whenever you think about what this case and the quality of it is. I have had a Pelican case. I have a Pelican case and I, I'm telling you, I don't know of any difference. I can't tell the difference. Uh, I don't think anybody else will be able to either. So what I'm doing is because I didn't want to spend that much money on a knife case. But yet, I did want a way to kind of store knives and transport knives and what have you. So, I thought about this because I've been using another case like this for some work stuff. I actually got one of our high-priced tools in that case. So, and it's worked great. I mean, we beat the crap out of it and it keeps it well protected. So, what I did was I took this out and I started just kind of cutting it. <laughs> and... In all actuality, by the time that I'm done, I'm going to be able to hold more knives in this case with my cutouts than I could have held in the, in the Pelican case. I could have bought the Pelican foam to go in here, but it was $150 for the Pelican foam. $150, I think it was $159 with the pre-cutout for 55 knives. Now... Let me see, what do I got here? One, three, four, fifty-five. I have 55 cut out right there. And I still have enough room to do like maybe one, maybe two more row, rows. I don't know. Let's see. I can do another small row. Like, you see, this is for going to be for the knives that look like this. You know, they're going to be a little bit smaller. They're going to fit into there. And then you're going to have your bigger ones, like this uh, Williamson here by Lansky, which I cut out a big hole for it right here. And that's even still not quite big enough. I might have to make it a little bit extra on that one. Uh, then you're going to have your bigger knives, uh, like your Gerber flat iron. Those will fit in here nicely. They're a little bit loose, actually, but whenever you get it down to the thick part, they're about right. Uh, now, all this is, is a simple little thing. I had started with my CRKT crossbones. Now, this sucker was super sharp when I started, but it seemed like it might have got a little dull. <laughs> I don't know if foam really dulls your, uh, dulls your knives like that, but it seems like it did. It's just, I mean, it's still sharp, but it's not like as sharp. So I stopped using this. I like this one because it's the thin blade, but it's really and truly, it's just a tedious task of just sitting here. I just got the TV on. I just been sitting here cutting, 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 cutting. 
Cut and go, cut and go. Be real, be real careful with it if you do decide to do this because it will get flimsy in certain spots. Like I'm doing the second set of padding right now for what I currently have, and that's right here. And you see what happened here is it just kind of pulled loose in the in the whole thing right there. So this will still work. I'm just gonna have to like you know finagle it a little bit and keep it nice and held tight um i'm thinking about maybe grabbing some toothpicks and sticking a toothpick in and then like sticking it together that way the toothpick will hold the form of it uh, especially like this thing here is just kind of wiggling in between um that will be the only thing that i would really knock on this case about is that the foam is a little bit uh delicate so you got to be very careful and I don't know about the longevity of the foam but I have seen a number of places you can buy foam uh, online so you can always buy a better quality foam I don't think I'm gonna need it but you never know but as far as everything's concerned here it's looking good so far I had all those in there but then I realized that the little knives like I was telling you needed smaller slots so I just made another row of small slots and now I don't know I made some of these a little bigger here for things like you know the big fat knives you know this will probably go in this one here and then I got some like a big multi-tool you know I got my gun my gun tool here it'll fit in there good or it'll even fit in there. Uh, this may be a little too big, but it doesn't matter. It'll definitely hold a knife in place. But uh, I'll show y'all a finished product probably right now. Okay, so here we are with my finished product. Um, I just got through doing my battle box and it made me think since I got the majority of my knives from BattleBox, why not do it in my BattleBox shirt? So I figured I could go ahead and do this. So this here is the 20 inch protective case. I picked this up at Sam's for $29.95. Okay, I bought two of them at the time. I forgot that I had the second one in there. I used the other one for my uh, big tool I use for plumbing and I forgot that I had this and while I was at blade show I saw the pelican knife cases and Don't get me wrong. They're very very nice and very well made and the foam inside It's like that hard foam not like you know the, the stuff that's in here and it's perfectly cut out and it's every freaking cut out is perfectly sized that was $259 for a case this size. I tried to just buy the foam, but just the foam was $159. It's insane. And this right here cost me $29.95 plus tax and some time. And this is what I got. Right there. This is probably about 90% of my folders. I have one here on my side, my little CRKT slacker. Um, it would fit in one of those little spots there. But I cut all these. I went through, I measured it out, and I figured what I wanted to do. And I've got, for the bigger knives, I got the first three rows and then the little slimmer knives like this. You know, like your Braza is like that size. And then these little slimmer knives, I need lots. I don't need the, that extra room just for them just to slide around. So I just made smaller slots. And then I made some bigger slots over here for like my gun tool, uh, my Havilon multi-tool. Then I got my Williamson Lansky knife which is very freaking, very nice. This here is just a friction folder, but like a very heavy duty friction folder. But I love the, I love that blades on these, 
for some reason, I like the Williamson knives. And I got that one, and then I got this one here, which is another Lansky Williamson knife, which I love. I love the blade on that one. It's just, it's just very nice. I, I like them, and they're sharp as hell, too. And then I got some little stuff. I got that little Mantis thing that we got in the battle box a long time ago. Uh, got this little, the little titanium uh, knife of the month from Bastion, which I still don't understand why this was a knife of the month, but it is what it is. I got the mini Bastion Braza Bro. So it's the mini me of the Bastion Braza. It's a little keychain knife. It's pretty cool. It's whatever. Got my big DMF folder. <laughs> That's just a monster knife, man. So impractical, but cool. And then there's just so many knives through here. And I actually thought that I wouldn't know the names of all of them. But I think I know all of them except for like four. So I was actually pretty impressed with myself. But, um... This is it. I will actually do a video where I go through, once I get this completely outlined and get it filled in in all these little spots, I will probably be, um, I'm going to put that in there for now. I'm going to take out the little spider co. I'm going to use it. But I, I just, I love it. It came out perfect. Um, we'll see how well this foam holds up. But the only thing that I heard is that the phone's a little bit soft in these. But uh, I'm actually, once I get all the knives in here, I'm going to do a little sheet of paper where I put all the names. I'm going to number them kind of. And then I'm going to put all the names onto a sheet of paper and laminate it and like stick it right there behind this pad. That way I'll remember and be able to tell people which knife it is. It's very freaking cool. So yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't in the comments below. Like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. And subscribe. I'm out. Oh yeah. If you are interested in one of these and you would want me to do it, you can kiss my butt because that was not fun. Not even a little. Also, like I said in the previous video, y'all need to make sure that you're subscribed and you're ringing that bell down there because I've got stuff to give away. I've got a couple little patches I got from SOE at Gun Show, little Velcro patches. Um, got a little sticker package here. All these stickers will go to one lucky winner just from all the different um, places. I just grabbed them up, snatched them up as I went through. Uh, my favorite has to be uh, this one. <laughs> I love that one. I love it. I, I just, I actually got three of them. I got two for me and then one for lucky winner. <laughs> and then I got some of these little rubber mats from Rogue Knives or Hogue Knives. And they were nice enough. I told them what I wanted to do with them. I was like, they had stacks of them. And I was just like, can I take a few for like giveaways on my channel? They were like, yeah, take all you want. So I got a tan one, a pink one, a couple little teal or sky blue, whatever. I got two oranges and a black. One of those oranges are mine, so there's only one orange available. Uh, we will be giving those away also. And we will be giving away last month's Mission 52 Battle Box uh, coming up any day now. So make sure you're subscribed and you're ringing that bell because if you're not, you're not going to know whenever it happens. I mean, I might tell y'all when I'm going to go live. I don't know yet. Like I said, I've, I'm having commitment issues lately as far as committing to a time and everything to do all this stuff. But 
Anyway, hope you enjoyed the case video. I'm out.